welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers of the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. Yes, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel is all about saving life and that's our main priority here. Yes, we are not the only to any political party parties in Jamaica or anywhere, but we support the party or government who is willing to make Jamaican people's lives better, especially when it comes on to security. We would like to see the culture of the people change, you know, by um, instilling these youths ethics, moral, decency, truthfulness, and to get rid of all the muck and this culture erosion that has been taken over and infiltrated our people's mind in Jamaica. You understand? So, you know, that's what we're all about here, reading, and these youths need to read more. So, you know, we are all about saving lives here at the channel, on the Jamaica Young Police Channel. But some lives are not worth saving. They have lived a parasitic life and were not contributing citizens to the society. Hence, we'd like to find a way to get rid of them by any means necessary. The Jamaica Young Police Channel is not for criminal supporters, enablers, financiers, beneficiaries, sympathizers, excuse specialists and head hunters in criminal underworld. At the channel, we, at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we aid criminals with a passion. Yes, especially the criminal police officers. Yes, most Jamaican expect the police to serve and protect and reassure, but some police officers know they are not about that. They are about whatever they can make, and it doesn't matter where the money is coming from. They have no code of conduct. They don't, you know, pull the out of office. And, you know, it's easy for them to side with the criminals against law-abiding citizens. And the reason why I'm saying that is I'm talking about this man right here, ACP Gary McKenzie. We were cadets together and he knew intimate knowledge of a drug dealer by the name of Christopher Bernard J. Ebert, who was a police cadet with, with us at the Jamaica Police Academy, who wanted to kill me. And this man was a current assistant commissioner of police in Jamaica and because he's close to this man he remain silent numb all because he's getting uh, money from him so it goes through that you know when it comes down to corruption people have no bones as for me although I'm not a police officer anymore serving if I had knowledge of someone wanted to kill him the assistant commissioner of police I would definitely intervene and I would chide the person who wanted to do it and I would let him know. But this man, Assistant Commissioner of Police, knew of my life been threatened and plans have been made to kill me by a man who is in the United States of America illegally. Yes, because this man did not um, state truthfully that he was arrested twice in Canada and deported back to Jamaica and he had received clean police fingerprint records to migrate to America and this assistant commissioner of police in Jamaica knew all of us were cadets and all of us were cadets in 1987 at the Jamaica Police Academy and he's now our assistant commissioner of police and you're telling me that I should trust the police in Jamaica you gotta be crazy when you have people look at the bottom and you have people like Dan Williams and Dopey Police and these people who have access to these people and have influence over them and have secrets so we, you know we continue the journey so ACP Gary McKenzie and Corporal Dopey Police Clifford Coleman have been accused of close allies of Danai Williams, that's the unknown Dan, gang leader in East Kingston. Yes, the men, the men you know, have been accused of providing Williams with protection from the police and helping him carry out illegal activities, which goes against their oath of office. The gang that Danai Williams operates is involved in various criminal activities, including extortion and murder. The JC of the Jamaica Constable Air Force is a professional organization that is dedicated to upholding the law. That is what they said, but that's not what they're doing. The JC is responsible for ensuring that its officers are held accountable for their action. That is not happening. The allegation against ACP McKenzie, Corporal Duffy Police, Clifford Coleman are 
a serious stain on the reputation of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Corruption is a complex problem that can be difficult to eradicate, especially when it is ent entrenched at the highest level of government and the law enforcement agency. However, several things can be done to try to reduce corruption, including enhancing transparency and accountability. This can be done by making government records more accessible to the public and strengthening over oversight mechanisms such as independent auditors and ombudsmen. ombudsmen. Strengthening the rule of law means ensuring that everyone is subjected to the law regardless of their position or wealth. It also means ensuring that the courts are independent and impartial. Well, I wish that could happen because we have Brian Lego Sykes here who is a criminal supporter, enabler, and he's an unconscionable person. They try for increasing pay because they increase in pay by nearly 300% because they feel they, they, they have an inclination that he's taking things under the table based on the cases that he had tried and the cases that he had fought to be the judge for the cases when there are other judges. Promoting ethical behavior. This can be done through education and training and by creating a government accountability culture. Why? That's a wishful thinking. Encouraging whistleblower blowing. Whistleblowers are often the first to expose corruption and should be protected from retaliation. Uh, that cannot happen in Jamaica because we have seen where police officers, honestly, and we're talking about changing the tide in Jamaica. If police officers who are witnesses in case have to migrate from Jamaica, what says the local average man? So Jamaica is a criminal spirit. What says the local average man? And, and most of these people who have testified in, you know, in cases that is in the public domain, after they testify, they, they're just le left on their own to do. It's not like back in the days, you know. You understand? Because you have to understand that from 1989, that government, the PMP LGBTQ plus government under the leadership of Michael Manley, that is from when corruption started to seep into the system and become a normal thing, where the criminals have been winning and law-abiding citizens have been losing. And it's continuing to right, continue right now. We have a Prime Minister who, honestly, I have zero, I have zero faith in him because... He has been doing everything that the PMP, LGBTQ plus party and government have been doing. Isolating decent people from the diaspora, um, revoking decent people from the diaspora who have lice of firearm there. So this man, I, 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 I strongly believe that he's the wrong person, not only to lead Jamaica, but to lead the JLP, LGBTQ plus party. He's the wrong person. That is just my opinion. You understand? Because he's no better than Mark Bowling. The only thing that is just doing things totally different and trying to create a culture which is of transparency which we do not see it from our perspective at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So they can do things by creating independent and transparent police complaint system. That can, cannot happen because this would allow for more effective investigation into allegations of corruption and would help to rebuild public trust in the police. Remember, you know, there's an inspector by the name of Ardy who went to the commissioner's a police office, reported corruption of police officers in Portland. Five minutes after he left, someone ran in the back of his vehicle. He came out that it was an accident and he was executed. This man was not an active police officer who was out there fighting crime as I was doing when I was there. So, you know, he, one must infer and think, so you, you, you understand. So there is no place in Jamaica for people to report corruption. I am telling you, straight up. Or else you risk losing your life as a police officer. So it's either you wait until you migrate or something. Ensure that our police, police officers are adequately, adequately trained in ethics and anti-corruption law would help create culture of ethical behavior within the police force. All of these things start from home. So if you don't have no morals, ethics, truthfulness in you from home, that's, you know, police force is going on with you a little. You understand? So, you know, providing financial in incentives for police officers to report corruption would encourage officers to come forward with information about corrupt colleagues. It is important to note that these are just some of the things that can be done to address corruption in the Jamaica police force. No single solution will work overnight, but by taking a comprehensive approach, it is possible to make progress in reducing crime and rebuilding public trust. 
as where young police officers can report corruption outside of Jamaica, several organizations can provide assistance. So we continue the journey. So we wanted to listen to this former policeman, you know. Yes, he's one of them who had testified um, in the Kral killing of the four people in Northern Clarendon with uh, Renita Adams, a member of the Crime Management Unit. And as you have, no, uh, most of you don't even know, that the same man who was involved in that, um, Danai Williams, he had given an affidavit, affidavit to the the federal government in America, and that's so they revoked the um, visa for all these police officers, including Redita Adams. Most people have to give a sworn statement and they cannot lie on it, or else they go to prison in America. So, you understand? So, I wanted to listen to this police officer and very brave police officer because he was one of them who against corruption and in the end he had to run away from Jamaica so Jamaica is fast becoming Mexico it's not too far you understand if it wasn't for men um, like Meveral Smith yeah you have to give him credit for that if it wasn't for men like Meveral Smith Jamaica would be like Mexico where you have kidnapping going on still he's the one that eradicated it you know whether or not you, you know irrespective of what you want to say about Meveral Smith at least he had done something and stamp it out Meveral Smith so and we haven't seen him receive any national award for even all of that but you know because Meveral is a PMP police and you know labor right in a power now they are not going to give him any medal or anything like that for all the work that he has done in the Jamaica Constabulary Force I myself have known Meveral Smith before I joined the police force he's a very hard working police officer but you know as I say in Jamaica <laughs> You know, show me your company and tell me who you are. So, I want you to listen to Constable Brown and then we continue the journey. You're going to hear some startling things about corrupt police officers and Danai Williams and how things unfold just easy like that in Jamaica. Corruption, one hour, one big time. You would never hear this anywhere else but only Jamaica Young Police Channel. I never put up the way name the um, the ACP I never put up film name at any thing there. May I wait till in time may I, may I understand because him, him is a money cap courier you know cause him carry money for America for a, a drugs man for, you know you understand we come from Spanish town. That, that's possible because if you do one from Spanish town, but here. Mm -hmm. fella named Charlie Pride used to move. Oh and we have killed Charlie Pride in the Spanish town um, plaza there, the plaza there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave Jamaica here so they can kill Charlie Pride. But Charlie Pride and Bungus and all of them tight. Mm -hmm. mm, and they bring on a set of escalators and things in the um, Spanish town there. But the fella, Umu Hall, he has about three to four different American driver's license. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, with different names for it and thing. Oh, that I want to hear that about. Uh, you not tell me about. Yeah, yeah man. So, so at this time now, when it was car, brother, him did take over the matter. Him did take over the matter the night, and him and big up for them. No, no, they really do not go and apply in squad because at the night, they never hear a bargain about a case. Oh, oh, Mackenzie, how they call it? Yes, Gary Mackenzie, man. Gary, mm. You know, car, brother, then. Mm. I need to work on traffic, you need to ride bike. Yeah, man, I need more skeletons. I mean, yeah, give me a name, big boy, you know. Oh, mm, so. I understand. You deal with it and then try to cover it up. And I give the joke all the night, they know who comes to the fella. Mm hmm. Danai Williams. Oh, oh, so you see, so. Okay, so, uh, so uh, that's why Iman Coleman now out and attack my character and my credibility. Well, tell us, uh, him. Was the man take over the thing? Mm -hmm. Cause you know that you don't know what going on. Them just play the game. Then I come that night in a Prado. Mm -hmm. a Prado, a fire. So, so what the what the what the what the boy what the boy did do when you when you when you lock up the boy? Well, you see, the first time I stopped him, the driver in a Mountain View, the driver red Lexus, brand new, left hand drive American Lexus, them time. Yeah. You never have no seatbelt and then the panel phone attack, so I pull him over. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when we check him, we find out so you have some more tickets in the vehicle, because we search the vehicle too. But the tickets them is different, different drivers like him. Mm -hmm. So when we stop and check him now, and he give me a mile before the license, we record that I may have it. So when we are no Kingston up on a roadblock exercise with JOCC, then time with the military and thing. 
Je dis, si on a un so what's the name of this boy? Come you tell me you tell me about him, you I don't remember my name, but never so saw that right on that song for a long time. You know? mm. But they call him Trees. Trees they call him. That was the name on the street. Oh, they call him Trees. Oh, so where he come from? Spanish name? Oh, yeah, but I'm like, he lived in America for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do they do? They live in America. They live black. But they have money. They have money. So when they search in vehicle, they find a lot of um, uh, drugs, like pills and tablets and things. Yeah. Yeah. You like for that man out in a pharmacy? Mm. Oh, yeah, so I'm supposed to go to jail for that man? <laughs> Boy, the man have a whole party in there. And then the ticket them now, they find the ticket in a different name too. Mm-hmm. In the vehicle. And I don't tell them already, including the car say, hey, that man I'm proud, it's different, nice, not different name map. Yes, because uh, the, yeah. the, the picture, oh, yeah. them, the, the, the photograph and the thing is him. Alright, so when the sun already said I have to hold on for him and I said to them, boy, why me I lose a pressure and time time I see my road, me I lose one charge it. So where him come, where him come from? Spanish town, you say? Spanish town region, him and Spanish, he have no connection with Spanish town, him and Charlie Pride. Mm. I feel like I'm Charlie Pride, but they ain't up in Charlie Pride, I think, for me leave him here. So, so, a long time. That night, man, don't get called from everybody, man. Don't get called from even bungle. Then, that night, come at JOCC, you know, you have to come up with it. Mm-hmm. And come on talk, you know, and the inspector said, no, sir. They don't care, go flying squad. Which, which, in, which, which, which inspector? The eh? yeah, inspector in charge of the operation, nothing to buy him. But he was kind of afraid of the man from Kansas Street. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, they can't go flying squad, I'll let me tell you. Before we reach flying squad, police don't go away from him. Mm. Everybody don't know anything about him. Even a policeman should have a motorized name Brown. A fat fella. In the day with pantries. Yes, I wear pantries too. Eh? It's just the motor vehicles, Benz and BMW and everything don't know anything park up away from I'm big police. Yeah, man. Big up for the ticket over. They man the car park. You know what they all come out? I was asked the car park and say everything was busy. Oh, 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 Mackenzie, take over it and, and everything just disappear. Who decided to deal with the ticketing system? Yeah, because, yeah, my traffic, man. Yeah, so he was the one to do it. But when I see him again after that, I asked him what I mean. He said, nah, everything was deal with. But we don't get to find out the man and Bungus and them we in tight and Charlie Pride. Because Charlie Pride come and talk to me and say, boy, everybody who will have a spring, I come black up. That's Spanish town. Mm-hmm. And I do all I'm buying you in Germany and last and do. You ever hear that name then? No, I never hear it. You took it to the Jamaica come on and West Indies, man. Jeremy and Larson. Oh, the cricketer. Yeah. He's not a rat, but I was a killer, you know. The clansman then. Oh, them they kill him? I don't know what happened to the brother, but the brother was a big shooter too. Gunman for the clansman. Yeah, man, Jeremy and Larson, but I was a big time gunman, man. Then he was supposed to get a license for him, so then I said, for the charge, he didn't have a problem. Mm-hmm. He didn't get any gun, and that is how our DSP named Beckford and Bung visit to come down and say, yo, give him a break and make him go. You know what I mean? He's a good one. So we, we, where did I charge him for? You know what I said? Last night I drive a vehicle with no insurance, no license plate. I drive down the wrong way in a Spanish town there. Mm. Yeah, man, and when we stop him, I think he start cuss and carry on, you know? And you, and you, yeah. and you make them make you give me a break. I want to give me a break. But you know, you know, me like to play the game. The more you play it, the more you find out what's going on. I true, I true. Still, but if you don't know, play it, you will never know. Uh, why? Hey, yes. You know, there's a mafia system where, where, where I come from, though. Then I know the system, man. Anyhow, you go there and start to just load up everything. Nobody knows what's wrong. You will never see anything. You'll never know. Uh, you're running. You have to learn to play the games. Play stupid, man. Act like you don't know what's going on. And trust me, you live long enough to see all of the game play. So that's how you get realized. Uh, you're a your virgin. More what? More what do you know about after matter that you know? More what? Because more what did that Spanish show them time there? Yeah, man. More what was a detective in Spanish show them time there, man? Yeah, man. Me and him used to the yeah. team and them thing there. Yeah. Me, me tell him, tell me about all the like, criminal police, the man, them thing there, with that Spanish town. 
Oh, you him tell me. Him te, I, I see him police them. Can uh, him tell me say I run into Adams make him charge him murder. And him tell me a whole heap of things about him. Nothing. Alright, tell me what I want. Yeah, man. Can me a more what did me a more what this is the panty. Can more what did want me come with him a Spanish town. And me tell him say no. Can him say a bongos. Them tell me me nothing. Did know say I saw the man corrupt. You know what I'm saying? I know about that long time. Uh, I tell you, more what know me good. As a youth, as a matter of fact, the whole Spanish don't know me. They used to call me Dutty Dan. Why? So you never see, you never see smoke without fire. So the big a ACP ACP gang pan we ain't loan some ass. Hey, a good thing, a good thing though, you know. Him no know nothing about me and them thing there, you know. But mm. but but me beat man and and drugs deal and I don't I just they said that hey, them police are some criminal, you know, man. And the one the one the one and him cool man now the Indian one now. Can you know say when him did get shot up? Can him. It, 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 it depends on the thing, you know. When him get shot up, you know, him have two cousins, one name David and one name Steve. Them did find coke. Oh, come here that long time and them thing, they find him get shot, you know, say. Him and the clansman, them. Cause him and Bulby, you know, a friend, you know. Cause him, ta yeah. him see him on evil say you know. Cause you understand. Oh, you a police, a detective, and you have a wanted man, self, most wanted man in Jamaica. And you and him talk all the while. But Bulby never wanted, brother. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? The man who most wanted man. Oh yeah, so because oh because he did meet with the prime minister and them thing there arena and get organ all them thing there. Everybody not friend, look not Spanish on bus terminal, not everything not running together and one better. What do you mean? What do you want this? <laughs> you touch both the other people dead more than him. Mm, yeah, ca I true can't see where Edda Robinson have left the PMP party and them thing there and them choose, them choose Bobby over Edda Robinson. So that's why I'm saying it's a criminal organization. It's not a political party. Right. Why don't you ever touch him then? Since you want him. No, but, but uh, remember saying I make money from him too. Right. Choose it. Never like what I want. Choose mm. that one straight up. And I never like what I want. And please be afraid to touch Bobby. Uh, that's why when him come out on me, him tell me that and him thing. Him, him never tell me say I'm free. Him say I'm glad to say over him. him come and ask him, I say, wait. Oh, you not get the boy. <laughs> You know, you need to come and go Spanish on a lot of ducks in the pan and water dirty. Mm. You get that? Yeah, no, sir. Because the police, they man, dirty over them, man. Because one time, because one time, they want, then see the police, they want to kill Ludlow and, 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 and Charlie Mendes, you know. The two of them are in charge of murder. Because they say they mash up them food. So, how oh, well get rid of crime in Jamaica when the police, them, them intertwine with it that way? Up to them neck. Yes, yeah, so I mean, say, if mm. we have criminal governance, oh yes, but the police are the judiciary. It's better. Anything to be different. You can't expect no better than them thing there. So we, so. No, how you, no, but how it's gonna be different? So it's gonna be like fighting a losing battle. If the leadership at any angle, whether it be PMP or JLP, is crooks. True. How you expect to have a clean society? True. Because yeah, I want me you what I use on them thing there as an example for sure. Say it's a criminal um, society we live in on them thing there, and the police. Police force itself is even more corrupt now that more than ever. Is Hubert Lowellin and the other sergeant who give evidence against Daryl Vaz, the Labour right, min, who's a minister right now, and that man can't at 12 years and him not get no promotion. Me say all police Louis between me and you. Never dead. But, 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 and it seems like they don't know enough. You know, America know exactly what's taking place in Jamaica. You understand what I'm saying? But America deal with their interests. They really think they really care about the justice partner. They deal with their interests. Uh, once you. it affects us, we deal with it. We have this, we deal with that. I saw it going on them thing there because I see... But you know, say, I see it. It. America don't know what's going on. Yeah, so we have come to the end of part one, you know, I'm um, telling you about corruption in the Jamaica Constabulary Force and it go all the way up the food chain. You know, don't think that it does stop right there. It's not the little... Um, be a food constable who are, who are the corruptors the corruptors are the people who are gazette officers all the way up to the commissioner of police everything starts from the top and come right down to the bottom but the little constables um they are the ones who are always you know arrested and you know push around we don't support corruption of any form it don't matter who is the person so stay tuned part two coming up shortly i will say have a beautiful day jamaica young police channel out <laughs>